Hi, my name is Nema, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make floral salts using foraged violets. It's honestly very easy, but before we get into it, let's talk about the violets themselves. So because our um, yard compound property um, is not sprayed with any chemicals, we've found over time that a lot of wild edibles have shown up, including three different varieties of, um, of violets. There's the marsh blue violet, the bird fruit violet, and the common blue violet. Okay. They flower anywhere between April and June, and they are surprisingly adaptable to different environments. They can sometimes be mistaken for the common blue periwinkle, which in large quantities is toxic to human beings. And this is what they look like side by side so that you're able to distinguish them. If you're curious about the flavor profile, I would say these are a bit um, bland. <laughs> um, do you know how, for instance, different flowers like hibiscus has that tang, um, roses are very fragrant, um, violets are just kind of blunt. Like I mentioned in one of my Instagram posts that um, the smell, however, of, of dried um, violets reminded me very much of cowpea greens, which are called kunde in Kenya and we'll get into those in another video. One of the most interesting things I learned besides the fact that the leaves can be, the young leaves in particular can be eaten in salads or just eaten in general, um, is that violets are rich in vitamin A and C but also the leaves can be used as a thickener much in the same way as okra. I have very uh, strong feelings about okra, so we'll, we'll just move on. Hmm? So this is a really easy recipe because you only need two things. You need violets and you need salt. So what I ended up doing was putting the violets in a dehydrator and the only stipulation is that you have to make sure they're devoid of any moisture. Uh, and then at that point I took a handful, ground them, mixed them with the salt and then I kept some uh, of the dehydrated ones whole you know as whole as they could be once they were dehydrated and I just kept adding salt until I had a final uh, product that I liked now what ended up happening was I let it sit overnight um, stored in an airtight container and what was really interesting is the color um, from the violets had sipped into the salt so it was sort of this grayish purpley with like a tinge of green like really beautiful as you can see so i have the violet salt obviously you can use as a finishing salt or however you'd like i also used it in a vinaigrette that i made using violet vinegar and i'll put a link in the description below for how to make um two of the most common things which is a violet vinegar and a violet jelly I hope you enjoyed this episode and until next time, kwaheri akwanana.